We have a Doomfist problem in Overwatch 2. Well, we got a number of different changes coming from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2, most of which actually felt pretty good with big changes to characters like Bastion and Orisa that the community, for the most part, likes. But there's one character that not only changed in a way that players didn't like, but he became one of the weakest characters in the game, and that's Doomfist. So let's talk about what the problem is with this character, and what are some of the potential solutions that Blizzard could implement to put him on the right track for Overwatch 2. If you enjoyed this content, do me a solid and smash that subscribe button for some free wins, and let's jump right into it. Now, when Doomfist got changed from a DPS to a tank, I was actually optimistic because it makes sense to take a character that already created a ton of space, remove the ability for him to be able to one-shot, but still keep that disruptive element and increase his HP. So he becomes a character that is capable of brawling a lot more on Doom, but not necessarily just going in and one-tapping everyone like the Overwatch 1 version of Doomfist. But they didn't only change that, they also gave him quite a bit of different abilities. They changed the character completely compared to how he used to be and especially doomfists that have mastered doom have put in the work into doom players like zebra and players like quake and a number of different other outspoken doomfist mains have talked about the skill ceiling of this character going down a lot of the text being useless and the character just feeling a little bit clunky now from a balance philosophy i could understand blizzard perhaps not wanting all the complicated text in a character to be very very difficult to find Find and master but I also think that Doomfist occupied this sweet spot where I'm not entirely sure in fact I'm fairly certain that Blizzard never intended 90% of those special Doomfist texts to exist but because they were found and they were actually developed it became really really cool as a sub community for Doomfist mains to develop themselves in this like there have been a number of different examples in other games where a tech was found that just became a main staple of the game I could think of like wave dashing in Super Smash Bros as one example, but it's happened a ton of time, and I don't entirely think it made the most sense for Blizzard to just completely rework this character from the ground up when I think you could have just fundamentally kept his abilities the same, but dramatically reduced his damage, increased his survivability or shield gain off of his abilities, and all the pre-existing knowledge that Doomfist players had would have remained, but Doomfist wouldn't have been this one-tap character anymore, more of a disruptive brawler. Now, regardless of that, that, we're in a new world now and I highly doubt they're gonna revert any of that back so what's the problem with Doomfist in his new form besides the text besides the advanced knowledge why is this the worst tank by far compared to all the other tanks it really comes down to two big problems the first one is that there are replacements to his effect characters that want to dive on top of you Winston is just flat out stronger even wrecking ball is very weak so characters like Winston and D.Va just provide much more utility than a character like doom that's the first reason and the second reason is displacement in overwatch 2 is a lot weaker than displacement was in overwatch 1 and for those of you who don't understand what i mean by that the movement of characters force moving them pushing them around was actually very powerful when you had two tanks that could be actually moved around and pushed around the fight and pushed into your team and crowd controlled all around the map that was very very strong and you got a lot of value from that even outside of your kill and dueling capabilities but now not only is that less powerful because it's only one tank but it's less likely because tanks have a cc reduction also due to the sporadic nature of how teams play now how they're typically spread a lot of characters have mobility dps are often flanking it's harder for doomfist to go and disrupt a death ball for instance and there's a lot more sporadic characters and fights that actually target some of doomfist as a tank's key weaknesses now, even outside of all of that, good Doomfist could still find value if they mastered the character and they were very strategic in how they engaged. But there's another huge problem about Doomfist is that he has a ton of ability weaknesses. CC just completely destroys Doomfist. He gets hooked. He gets slept. Outside of traditional CC, he could also get hacked. This character has a lot of other characters that just completely shut him down. And while I'm not against having certain things that can shut down a character, for Doomfist in particular, he feels way too easy to just completely hard counter and neutralize with one ability. Now, we have to ask the question, what can we do about these things? How can we balance Doomfist to be stronger and better? What direction should Blizzard take Doomfist to turn him from a really terrible tank that doesn't really have an identity to a tank that is legitimately strong and actually has a unique and powerful use? 
I think the two things that you could do right off the bat to this character is either give his shield block complete damage mitigation, because right now some amount of damage could leak through. This one's not a huge deal, but it can be very annoying or frustrating for a Doomfist player to die even through block, especially if like a Bastion is running him down. When other characters like D.Va, for instance, have something that can neutralize damage a lot better and also peel for their team, which is something that Doomfist really can't do. He can't peel or protect his teammates, so his shield block should be stronger, right, flat out than DM in a lot of ways. The other thing a shield block should do is completely block CC or crowd control. Whether it's a sleep dart, a hook, a rock, whatever it is, it should block it flat out. Now, there are some potential problems that could come up if you do this, where if Doomfist does end up becoming strong, that is one of the ways to shut him down. And if he has a way to counter that, then, uh, you know, he could become really, really hard to deal with. However, if you shorten that block window and you make it so an Ana has to hit a sleep dart on him as he's flying into her, as he's flying above her, same thing with all these other abilities. It creates a situation where the skill shot is there for you to still shut him down, but the Doomfist also has some sort of counterplay, right? He comes in, he gets to actually potentially play around these cooldowns in a very similar way, like a Genji would reflect at the appropriate time, but you can play around that. And it's not gonna be as powerful as a reflect because it's not gonna return that damage back, but it will protect the Doomfist. And if you do those things and change it in this way and Doofus becomes too powerful, you could easily just keep shortening that shield block window because I think most people would agree that having a shield block that blocks all damage and CC for a small amount of time is better than one that doesn't block any of those things, but it lasts longer. Now, this really kind of fixes a lot of the counter problems of Doomfist, but at a more fundamental level, displacement characters like Wrecking Ball and Doomfist don't necessarily get the same value that they did before, like we talked about. But now Doomfist can go through the cycles, has a shield block that can legitimately protect him, so it allows him to go in a little bit more aggressively and create those cycles where he goes in, disrupts the enemy, potentially sets up a play for his team, shield blocks, and actually protects himself, gets out, and eventually he can do actual damage because that shield block is going to ramp up his punch he goes in for a combo and he actually can have legitimate impact and damage on the board one thing about the community is i think that doomfist gets unfairly looked at as a character that is not allowed to do damage because they don't want doomfist to be like old doomfist i think there's a lot of ptsd about last doomfist as far as tanks are concerned they're like ah oh, doomfist shouldn't do a lot of damage doomfist shouldn't be able to get kills but if we look at all the tanks that exist they all are freaking fragging. Zarya, D.Va, Rodog, freaking Sigma. They're all just killing. They're all killing. Like, it's okay if your tanks kill. But I do think that in order for Doomfist to get those impactful kills like old Doomfist, he should have to go through multiple cycles. And that's what the power block charge up actually creates because doomfist has to go in and create space in order to charge up that power block in order to deal damage and make plays so he goes through that cycle kind of like azaria that is building charge goes through a cycle for a while before she tries to make a play same thing with doomfist but you gotta increase the power level of his block otherwise it's unrealistic for doomfist to ever go through those cycles and uh yeah i think that that would be a good change a good start for doomfist still not quite sure if the current state of doomfist is the best form for him in the future and maybe other reworks are needed but i do think that this is the direction that they should look to go in but i want to pass the question off to you how do you feel about current doomfist how do you feel about some of these changes that i suggested and if it was up to you how would you balance doomfist in overwatch 2 to make him powerful and unique but not oppressive very tricky here Definitely let me know what you think about that and smash that subscribe button. Thank you for supporting my channel and I'll see you next time.